Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 516 and we are tracking more heat to start the day. But on the plus side, we found a couple friends. Oh, how well, cute Adam, are they? Too, yes, who's always our friend, but new friends. They look like they're good friends. How cute. Just hanging out. Good morning. Good morning, Alex <laughs> and Scott. Maybe they're going for a car ride to a dog park where they have the little water features That'd that be great. Oh, yeah. help cool them off because it is going to be hot today. But Alex and Scott, we do have some potential cooling relief. Now this is Allie and Sunny. Like I said, maybe they're going to the dog park, getting ready to find some way to cool off because even this morning, starting off with those really warm temperatures. But look at this. By the time we get into the afternoon hours, I'm going to be tracking some showers and storms, and that will help provide some heat relief, but still likely getting pretty toasty. Now, no heat advisory today because the uh, humidity is slightly lower than what we were seeing yesterday. Temperatures are expected to be slightly lower, too, so we're just on the cusp. But generally, we are looking at those really warm conditions regardless. A few showers off the Louisiana coastline, off the Texas coastline. They're trying to work their way towards the north. We'll see what they do, but not really looking at much out there. And our Queen City of the Tesh camera atop the Community First Bank building in New Iberia. Well, it shows that we have quiet weather conditions. A few cars on the roadways there, Admiral Doyle and Lewis Streets, but otherwise a sticky start to your day with those temperatures that are at 79 in Jennings and Lafayette, also in New Iberia, but 81 in Gaydon and 80 in Pro Bridge. So very, very humid weather out there. You know, for the morning time, I really don't think we see a whole lot. There could be a pop up shower or two, especially down around the coast, but it's after lunchtime. We'll start to see some showers and storms developing. Now for today's forecast, likely not going to help us out with that heat. We'll still likely reach the low to mid 90s, but we will start to see them pushing on in here during the evening hours too. look at this by nine o'clock. We could be tracking some rain, and that is because a very weak cold front is coming in from the north surging this moisture down our way tomorrow. Our future cast says that in the morning time we could start off the day with some showers and storms. We'll have to watch that trend. Maybe a little bit of a break during the mid morning time frame and then into the afternoon scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms on your Thursday. So if that happens, maybe we don't hit 90. We'll see, but I still think we'll get into the lower 90s for tomorrow. Today, however, we're looking at scattered showers and storms. Those temperatures getting into the lower 90s by lunchtime. Going for a walk anywhere around the area is just going to be kind of miserable with that high humidity. This afternoon for the pool forecast, well, you're probably going to have to dodge some showers and storms out there. Low to mid 90s, depending on when and if you see any of that rain. Overnight, an isolated sprinkle with temperatures in the upper 70s, but better rain chances on the day tomorrow. That should limit our highs, hopefully closer to that 90 degree mark, but we'll see. You know, we'll likely still reach those lower 90s. And then once we get past tomorrow, the weekend looks hot and humid with highs in the mid 90s there, both Saturday and Sunday. The potential for another heat advisory to be issued beginning on Friday. Huh. Joy. Okay. Well, Adam, we are going to continue to check in throughout the morning, so we'll see you in a bit.